All right, to get started with the panda, you are going to start with your white yarn. So to start the panda, you are going to take your white yarn, your 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. We are going to start round one, which is a magic circle with six stitches. So let's start with a chain one to secure it. And then you're gonna put six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this, in case you are wondering, this is what a single crochet looks like. Okay, so you've got your stitch, and then at the top it looks like it's a little V. That is a single crochet, and you should have six of them on uh, your circle. Then you're going to take the tail out from in between these two strands of yarn. You're going to pull the magic circle closed, and then you're going to take your stitch marker, and you're going to put it in that first single crochet that you made. The second row, you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So that first stitch is going to be a little bit tight to get into, and that's okay. one single crochet. You're going to put in another single crochet. Okay. Two single crochets in the next. One. Two. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. single crochet two single crochets one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet Two single crochet and then in the last stitch one single crochet and two single crochets put your stitch marker back in round three is one single crochet and then two single crochets so one single crochet into the next stitch And then two single crochets. Okay. You're going to do that again. One single crochet and two single crochets. I'm going to do that again. One single crochet and then two single crochets in that next stitch. One single crochet and then Two single crochets, one 
one single crochet. Two single crochet. One single crochet. And then two single crochets in that last stitch where your stitch marker is. Okay. Round four is one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next. So you're going to put one single crochet into the next two stitches and then you're going to put two single crochets into that next stitch. I will do one more set with you. One single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in that third stitch. Okay, so I'm going to finish this round and then I will meet you at the end to show you how to finish off. So we're at the last three stitches. So you're going to put a single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase stitch into the third. Round five is one single crochet in the next three stitches and then two single crochets into the next. So one single crochet into the next three stitches and then two single crochets into the next. one single crochet into the next three, two, and three, and two single crochets into that next stitch. Okay, repeat that all the way around and I will show you the last set of stitches to do. We are at that last row or that last uh, group of stitches that we need to put in so it's one single crochet into the next three so one two and three and then two single crochets into that last stitch Round six is one single crochet in the next four stitches and then two single crochets into the next. So one single crochet into the next four, two, three, and four, and then two single crochets into that last stitch of that group of stitches. Again, one single crochet in the next four, and then two single crochets into that fifth stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around and then when I get back, when we get to the end of the round, I will show you how to do the end of the round. Alright, so we are at the end of this round, so it's one single crochet into the next four. two single crochets into that last stitch. 
For round seven, you're gonna put a single crochet into the next five, and then a uh, increased stitch into the sixth stitch. So, one single crochet into the next five. So that's three. Four. Five. And then an increase stitch into that sixth stitch. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more row with you or one more group of stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochets. So continue all the way around and then I will show you what to do for the final group of stitches. So we are at the last group of stitches. So it's one single crochet into the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then two single crochets into that sixth stitch. For rounds eight to 13, you're gonna put a single crochet in each stitch around. So I will start this row with you and finish this row with you. And then I will let you finish rounds eight through 13. So you're just going to put a single crochet into each stitch around. We are not doing any increased stitches for rounds 8 through 13. We are just doing single crochets in each stitch around. So I'm going to meet you back at the end of this round and show you how to finish off. All right, so we are here at the end of this round and I'm just finishing up my single crochet stitches. So you're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. It'll start to curve inwards towards you, and that's okay, because that is a natural reaction to this type of stitch. And if you want to, you can continue working with it like this if it's easier, or you can flip it correctly like this and continue working from the sides, but that is up to you. So for rounds nine through 13, you're gonna put a single crochet in each stitch around. Alrighty, I'm at the end of this round. So we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around for, for rows eight through 13. I'm at the end of the 13th row. So I'm just going to finish this up for you and show you what to do. Again, I apologize that the lighting is a little bit, uh, making this a little bit hard to see. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little rusty. All right, that last stitch, we're gonna take it out and we're going to put a single crochet. And then we are going to put this uh, stitch mark marker back in. Round 14, we're gonna put a single crochet in the next five stitches, and then we're gonna single crochet two together. So I'm gonna show you a couple times how to do the single crochet two together. So first, 
adds one single crochet into the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then these next two stitches here, we're gonna single crochet them together. So you're gonna insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull that through that stitch. You'll have two loops on your hook and you're gonna go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch. You will have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those stitches and that's a single crochet two together. I will show you that again once we get to our next single crochet two together. So one single crochet in the next five, one, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet two together. So we're gonna single crochet these two. So insert your hook through that stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch, two loops on your hook, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull that through that stitch, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this around doing five single crochets, one single crochet in the next five stitches, and then single crochet two together. And then I will meet you at the last group of stitches and I'll show you how to finish off. So we are at the end of this round and this is um, the last group of stitches for round 14. So one single crochet into the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the last two stitches, which should land on your stitch marker as well, we're gonna do single crochet two together. Okay. For round 15, we're gonna put one single crochet in the next four and we're gonna single crochet two together. So one single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, four. And then on that single crochet two together, you should land on a single crochet and the single, single crochet two together that we did in the last round. So insert your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch, insert your hook into the single crochet two together from the previous round, yarn over, grab, uh, pull it through that stitch, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. One single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, four, and then single crochet two together. Repeat that around, single crochet in the next four, and then single crochet two together, all the way around, and I will show you how to do the last group of stitches. All right, so we're in the last group of stitches. So single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four, and then single crochet these last two stitches together. Insert your stitch marker back. For round 16, you're gonna put one single crochet into the next three stitches and then single crochet two together. Okay, so one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, 
three, and then single crochet two together. Again, one single crochet into the next three. One, two, three, and then single crochet two together. Repeat that around and I will meet you at the last group of stitches to show you how to do those. Alright, here we are at the last group of stitches. So one single crochet into the next three. One, two, three, and single crochet the last two stitches together. Your stitch marker back. Round 17, you're gonna put a single crochet into the next two and then single crochet two together. On the last round of single crochet two togethers, we're gonna finish the stitch with black yarn and I will show you how to do that. So one single crochet into the next two. One, two, single crochet these next two stitches together one single crochet into the next two single crochet these last two stitches together one single crochet into the next two single crochet last two stitches together one single crochet into the next two single crochet these last two together one single crochet into the next two Single crochet these two stitches together. Okay, and in this round, uh, in this last group of stitches, it's one single crochet in the next two. One, two, and then in these last two stitches, we're gonna start doing our single crochet two together. So just how we normally would. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, and instead of yarning over with the white and pulling through to finish, we're gonna grab our black yarn. We are going to leave a good amount of tail of the black yarn so that we can knot off and um, uh, our black yarn won't unravel. And then you're going to pull the white yarn and then you're going to take the black, put it on your hook and then you're going to finish that decrease stitch with the black, pull the white yarn tight. We're going to grab our scissors, we're going to cut the white yarn and what we're going to do so we're going to take the white yarn and the black yarn and we're going to tie these together so that the ends do not come loose. Okay, so that is secure and snug now. Insert your Insert your stitch marker into that last stitch. And then for round 18, we're gonna do a uh, single crochet and then an increase stitch. So it's one single crochet. And then 
two single crochets and then one single crochet and then two single crochets one single crochet and then two single crochet and you're gonna repeat that all the way around all right so we are at the end of this round it's one single crochet and then two single crochets in that last stitch where the stitch marker is okay round 19 is one single crochet in the next two and then two single crochets so one single crochet into the next two and then two single crochets in that third stitch so it's one single crochet into the next two and then two single crochets into the next stitch Okay, repeat that all the way around and I'll show you how to do the end uh, group of stitches. We're at the last part of round 19. So it's one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then this third stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets. Okay, and you're going to put the stitch marker back into that stitch. And then for round 20, you're gonna put one single crochet in the next three stitches and then two single crochets. So I will do a couple of these with you and then leave you to finish off the round and I will meet you back at the end of the last group. So one single crochet into the next three, one, Two, three, and then two single crochets. One, two, and then one single crochet into the next three. One, two. three and then two single crochets one and two so finish off this round and then I will meet you at the end to show you how to do the last group of stitches all right so we are at the end of the round so we're gonna put one single crochet into the next three so one two, three, and then two single crochets into that last stitch. Okay. Put your stitch marker back in. For rounds 21 through 23, you're gonna put one single crochet around and your stitch count will remain the same. And at the end of the 23rd row, we're gonna join our white again. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, so you're gonna put for rounds 21 to 23, one single crochet and each stitch around. Okay, so continue that all the way around and I will show you the last few stitches over here and then I will show you what to do. So we are at the end of this round and this is the last stitch. And instead of finishing off with the black yarn, we are going to add in our white yarn again at the end of round 23. And we are going to finish this single crochet off with the white. Okay? So we're going to put that single crochet or the stitch marker back in there. 
and then we're going to cut the black yarn and you can leave a good long tail for this if you'd like and then we're going to tie off the black and white yarn so that everything stays intact and does not unravel And now we're going to stuff the head. So you're going to need some stuffing for this. You, I use polyfill stuffing, but you can use whatever stuffing you decide that you want to use. And you are just going to push the stuffing into the head. To continue putting stuffing in. When I'm stuffing the head, I am pushing the stuffing out towards the edges of the head. And I'm just making sure it is completely stuffed. And you can stuff it as much as you want or as little as you want. It's completely up to you. I just like my animals to be really, really stuffed. 24, which is one single crochet in the next four stitches, and then two single crochets. So one single crochet into the next four. One. Two. Three. And four. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. So this is an increased stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So putting one single crochet into the next four stitches and then a increased stitch into the fifth. So I will meet you at the end of this round to show you how to finish off. So we are at the end of this round and we're going to finish off with four single crochets and then two single crochets where the stitch marker is. So one, two, Three, four, and then two single crochets in the stitch. And then round 25 is one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two single crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochets. One and two. Repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of the row to finish off. Alrighty, I am back at the end of this round. We are doing one single crochet in the next five and then two single crochets. Row 25. So, one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the second, one single crochet into the third, one single crochet into the fourth, one single crochet into the fifth, and then this row has two single crochets into the sixth. Okay, and replace your stitch marker for rounds. 26 to 30, we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch. So this one 
you're gonna have the same stitch count we are just doing a single crochet around for rounds 26 through 30. So go ahead and do this all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round 30 to show you how to uh, finish off your round. All right, we are at the end of round 30. So I'm going to finish off these last few stitches with you. All right, round 31 is one single crochet in the next five stitches and then single crochet two together. So I will show you how to do this. So it's one, two, three, four, five single crochets, and then single crochet two together. Okay, I'll do another set with you. One, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet two together. You're going to do that all the way around, and then I will meet you back at the end to do the last row with or the last group of stitches with you. So it's a one single crochet. Into the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet, two stitches together. Replace the stitch marker. Round 32, you're gonna put a single crochet in the next four stitches and then single crochet two together. So, one, two, three, four, and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that around and I will meet you at the end to show you how to do the uh, last group of stitches. All right, we are at the end of this round. So it's one single crochet into the next four. So one, two, three, four and then you're going to single crochet these last two together okay now you're going to put your stitch marker back in and then for round 33 you're going to put one single crochet in the next three stitches and then single crochet two together so one single crochet into the next three one two, three, and then single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the end to do the last one. So it's one single crochet into the next three, one, two, three, and then single crochet two stitches together. So repeat that all the way around and I will meet you at the end group and I will show you how to finish off. All right, we are at the last group of stitches. So it's one single crochet into the next three. 
One, two, three, and then single crochet these last two stitches together. Round 34, you're gonna put one single crochet into the next two, and then single crochet two together. So one single crochet into the next two, and one single crochet two together. And then repeat that around, one single crochet into the next two, and then single crochet these last two together and you're going to repeat that all the way around and i will show you at the end what to do so we're at the last group of stitches so one single crochet into the next two one two and then single crochet these last two stitches together Round 35 is one single crochet and then single crochet two together. So I will do this full round with you since it's such a small round. So one single crochet and then single crochet the next two stitches together. One single crochet and single crochet two stitches together. single crochet and then single crochet two stitches together one single crochet single crochet two stitches together one single crochet single crochet two stitches together One single crochet, single crochet, two stitches together, one single crochet, single crochet, two together, one single crochet, single crochet, two stitches together. one single crochet and then single crochet these last two stitches together and then for round 36 this is where we're going to start stuffing so you're going to do single crochet two together three times stuff and then single crochet two together the rest so single crochet two together one, two, three, and then I like to pull my yarn a little bit so that it won't uh, unravel. And I'm going to put stuffing this part of the panda. Alright, now for the rest of this, what I find is easy to do is I will single crochet two together some more and then I will stuff some more. Single crochet two together some more, stuff some more. So it is completely up to you however you want to do this um, and how full and stuffed you want your panda to be.
Okay, so single crochet. together Okay, if you want to add more stuffing, you can. I'm going to close it up one more. And then I'm gonna add some more stuffing. single crochet two together again and then single crochet the last two together And then you're going to slip stitch to finish off. And then you're going to cut a good length of yarn. Pull this through. And then you're going to weave in and out of these stitches to close. And I'm going to show you what that means. Now, you're going to weave in and out of the remaining stitches. So how I do this is I will just go through the top loop of the stitches. And I will just weave in and out. Of those stitches like so. Okay, and then once you weave in and out, all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it closed. Okay, so pull it closed. And then you are going to just go in and out through stitches until you are happy with how closed
close it is and then you're going to knot off several times so that your your work doesn't come undone And then once you are good with how your work is, you're gonna bury the tail in the body. And you're just going to continuously weave in and out until you are completely happy and content with your work. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it tight and then you're gonna cut the yarn and then the rest of the yarn will be buried in the body. So that, you can also just kind of maneuver it around a little bit. So that is part one to your panda, making the head and the body. Part two is gonna be how to make the ears and the nose. So stick around for that. If you would like to see further videos, further crochet videos that I post um, in sections, so uh, part one, part two, part three, etc., let me know. Or otherwise, let me know if you would like to see just one complete video start to finish of how to make an animal. Um, I would be more than happy to do either one. So just let me know what you prefer and I will do my best to accommodate. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, please like. And um, once you finish watching all the other parts of the video um, and all the other parts to making the panda, feel free and please post pictures of the panda that you made. You are more than welcome to post them in the comment section here. Or you can follow me on my crochet Instagram or crochet Facebook page. I will have both of those linked down below. And you can um, tag me in photos and post photos to my Facebook page if you would like to. I would love to see your work. So stay tuned for part two, making the ears and the nose. And I will talk to you in my next video.